Hey, how's it going, guys? This is a cool combination of Python programming plus math. I've been teaching myself um, geometric sequences, or reviewing it, rather. I learned it once for a test but I, in school, but I never really thoroughly learned it. And I just wanted to study it because of the beauty of math. So I made this um, function called nthgeom, and it takes three parameters. And this video is for anybody who wants to learn Python programming and who is interested in math. Both of those are current interests of mine, and they've been an interest for a very long time. Um, anyways, I made this function. It's just three lines of code, not including the comments. And if you're an experienced Python person, an experienced math person, this would be very beginner. But to me, it was a great review, and it was a cool little function I wanted to share. So. The function is just nth geom, takes three parameters. R is the multiplication increase in the geometric sequence. First is the first term in the sequence, and nth is the term you want to find out. So here's the geometric sequence. Starts with two, which is the first term. And then uh, let's say it doubles, so it goes up by two. It multiplies by two, which means R and the multiplication would be two there. So this is. 4, 8, 16, 2, 64, 28, etc. right? Well, just as, for example, here's another sequence. Let's say it starts with um, 5. So the first term of this sequence is 5. And let's say R is 3. What would be the second term then? Well, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 3, 45, 135, and so forth. Now, the term numbers is the whole point of this. This is the first term, second term, third term, fifth term, seventh term, all right? This is the second term, this is the fourth term, third term, first term, all right? So this sounds, it seems very simple, but once you get, let's say, let's say it multiplies by two, the first term is two, and you want to find the 20th term. Now, that might be a little bit challenging to try to figure out. This formula does that, and it combines Python with that. So let's go over to uh, Python shell. Again, this is, um, uh, I'm running Ubuntu, by the way, Linux, which I love. And uh, where's the info? Oh, it's come on. About, this is, is this, yeah, it is 3.1, Python 3.1, good. Oh, yeah, it says right there, too, though. Um, this is a GNOME do thing that I really like. Productivity massively. So this is just the idle Python. That's the this is the interpreter that I'm using, and this is the uh, source code. Get that stuff. Um, all right. So, and I'll explain how this function works. Uh, again, if you're if you're a master of Python, a master of math, you already know this, and you don't need to watch this video. But if you aren't, then this will probably help you with coding. First off, it imports the math module, which gives us access to math.pow is just simply here on the, on the interpreter here is um, import math math.pow it takes two um, it takes two integers so let's do two to the fourth that is 16 marvelous now let's do let's do uh, three cubed three cubed is 27 marvelous I also can do really obviously larger numbers. Let's do three to the twenty uh, is uh, twenty-five. That is three billion. Three point four eight six seven eight four four zero oh, one billion. Okay, cool. Good for that. Now this nth geom sequence that I made is really cool. I really like this. I think this is pretty clever. Okay, um, and it helps me understand uh, geometric sequences even better. And all the while works with helps with Python. So. Here's how this works. Nth geom, we call the function. Let's figure out, let's say the first term is, well, let's say it goes up by two, multiplies by two, the first term is two, and let's say we want to find the tenth term, okay? Now, I already know that's one, two, four, but let's check it. Marvelous. Oh, that's awesome. So what, what did this do, all right? It takes, the first term is two in the sequence, and then the second term is two times r, which is four. The third term is that times r, which is 8, and 16, all the way up to the nth term, which is 10. 
But look how this, this program is made. This is where the, the formula, the mathematical formula for geometric sequences comes into play, which is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Okay? So it takes the first term, which in this case was 2, and it multiplies it by r to the n minus 1 power. So again, that would, to, to map out what that would look like, it would, this that we just entered here is the tenth term, oops, is the tenth term in 2, which is the first term, times r, which is also 2, to the n minus 1, and that equals 10 minus 1 for the tenth term, and that equals 9. So let's see if that works just with math, okay? That's 2, 2 to the, is trying to find out 2 to the ninth. 2 to the ninth is 512. And let's, let's check that using this Python thing. So math.pow 2 to the 9, 512, marvelous. So then we have 2 times 512 is equal the 10th term with oh, from our geom. Yes, it does. Oh, that's awesome. So that's that. That's that, really. Um, so I wanted to share that. Uh, it's a really simple, um, uh, combination of awesome Python programming, which is very simple and elegant. Um, I did a, a tutorial vid and I included the top menu bars of my screen and I eliminated those because, uh, kind of for privacy, but also just because I thought it could be a unnecessary distraction, mainly for privacy, honestly. And I just wanted to focus on these two windows here, which is great. Anyways, um... And that, in that video, I talked about how Python is often described as very elegant and by advanced programmers, beautiful. I'm not necessarily an advanced programmer. No, I'm not an advanced programmer. I'm learning. Uh, but I do see how it is a beautiful language. Like, I made this very simple, well, very useful function with just three lines. Well, actually, just two lines of code. Because this is um, going, and these are uh, comments. So I just wanted to share that. This is um, a function for the nth term in a geometric sequence using Python. Jolly good.